Senator John Kennedy is here, Republican from Louisiana in the Faulkner Focus. Good to see you, Senator. I want to get just your top line thoughts on where we are with this. And I have to say, I haven't heard the word race more than just this week in a very long time in politics. Harris, I, I, uh, I don't hate anybody. And I, I try to see grace wherever I can find it. But the decision by Mr. Rob Manfred, the commissioner of Major League Baseball, to turn baseball into a blue sport, it just really makes me want to heave. You know, I mean, it's... I, I, whether you agree or disagree with the Georgia law, I don't think any of us, I know I don't, want to have to think about politics when we watch baseball. And what disturbs me equally about Mr. Manford's decision is he hasn't explained it. Hmm. Um, he hasn't explained why he thinks that Georgia's law, which I think was an honest effort toward election integrity, is racist. Now, Mr. Manfred, he looks like a smart guy. He went to Cornell. He graduated from Harvard Law School. Uh, he probably washed his hands before it was cool. I, I think if he's going to do this to Major League Baseball, he owes an, an explanation. And what I'd like to see him do is come on your show or one of your colleagues' shows, not just for three minutes, but for 30 minutes. I think he needs yeah. to go to Amazon, buy Spine online, and come on your show, maybe with Governor Kemp, and let Commissioner Manfred explain why millions of Americans who support election integrity are racist. And, and, and after he's done, I think President Biden needs to come on, un, unscripted, for 30 minutes. Now, the president has made a very serious accusation. He has said everybody who believes in having an ID, showing an ID before you vote, is a racist. Uh, he said that everybody who is opposed to ballot harvesting, and we've seen the, the, the treachery of that, is a racist. Not an honest disagreement. You are a racist. I didn't like it when Vice President Harris called President Biden, but then both candidates, a racist because he That's didn't support school busing, and I don't like it now. Mm -hmm. And I think the president and, and Mr. Manfred need to explain, not, not in a scripted uh, uh, way off of a teleprompter. They need to come on your show. Let them come on with Governor Kemp. And, 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 and dig deep. And we have a little bit later Governor Kemp joining me. Um, we extend an invitation, as you know, Senator, on the program all the time to everybody. Uh, and, and the way that you yeah, but speak let them come on together. So let them come on together in oh, front of absolutely. God and country. And, and go back and you know, forth. And it's the debate about yeah. what, real, what real race talk in America should look like. And we're, you and I are having yeah, it right now. Yeah. Because I was born, as yeah, I mentioned, don't hide in the year your that basement. Jim Crow Let's laws talk about this. ended. And so there is a definite difference that I remember as a child as they were taking down the signs. My father fought in the Vietnam War at a time when he couldn't go to the same bathroom and the same restaurants. But this was his country that he loved so much, and he believed in her potential. And so you and I are Amen. having that, that fruitful back and forth right now that is so necessary. There was something about Jim Crow laws that had existed since the 1860s that is very different than anything that we know today. And we can Jim talk Crow about was what horrible. We've been I and remember it. But let's be honest about it. I remember I hear Jim you. Crow I hear laws. You. It's you a do great that. idea that you put out. It's a, and, and, and it's a serious why do you think, though, accusation. That people on the Hill. And it's hard with this delay. You and I kind of, we're, we're working with that a little bit in virtual Sorry. world right now. But, but as we, no, no, no. I just pointed out for the viewers. As you and I go back and forth, though, it's hard for people to have an honest inf conversation about this, though, Senator, because everybody wants to cancel everybody. If you don't agree, then half the conversation yeah. has to stop. And how do you stop it? You use the word racist. That's how you stop it. You don't get into what that word means. I love your idea. Let's get a definition for it. I want to move to this. A Wall Street okay. Journal op-ed argues that Democrats are stuck in 1964. Quote, in 1970, there were fewer than 1,500 black elected officials in the U.S. 
Today, there are now more than 10,000. Black voter registration in the South, where most blacks live, is higher than in other parts of the nation. Ideally, this history would inform media discussions of voter suppression and disenfranchisement, but it seldom does. Nor does evidence of increased black voter participation, including in states with stricter voting requirements, stop the left from invoking the ghost of Jim Crow. Y your response. Uh, look, um, America is not perfect, but we are good. Mm. And I think our history is the best indication of the fact that we are not a, a systemically racist country. I mean, in 150 years, Harris, which is the blink of an eye in the scheme of life, death, and the resurrection, uh, we have gone from institutionalized sa slavery to an African-American president. We have African-Americans and other minorities serving at all levels, local government, state government, federal government, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of that. And that's why I take this accusation of being a racist very seriously that President Biden has made. As best I can tell, here's what President Biden is upset about. Voter ID laws and ballot harvesting. Now, here's a question to President Biden. Given the prevalence of IDs throughout America, Given the number of social circumstances in America, like you know, buy, buying a car or, or getting a job that require an ID, why is requiring an ID to vote racist? And one point yeah. of view, and I'd like to hear President Biden's uh, uh, thoughts on it, not requiring an ID is the preservation of the right to cheat. Why wouldn't you want to know if someone is who they say they are when they're trying to vote? Why is, why is that racist? And President Biden you know, these are, and Commissioner Manfred, need to, they need to explain this now. They're, they can't get off this easy. Yeah. They just call half questions. of America racist. You, you ask such important I'm, questions. I'm, and I would just add this quickly to the mix before I have to let you go. Then why move it to sure. Colorado, which actually has some stricter laws on the books when it comes to, and has much the same with voter ID, but stricter laws when it comes to how much of a window you get to vote in that state versus Georgia. Why move it to a place that looks a little bit more strict in some areas on election law than the place you're moving it from? I, I just don't understand that argument either. You and I could go back and forth. I, I appreciate the conversation. It hopefully will give you know, birth to more of this, because I think we got to get there as a nation um, and stop the name calling and really get into the nitty gritty. And I think that you're helping to get that going today. And Senator, I didn't know if, it would go Mr. this way, but I'm really, really glad it did. We had a real conversation. If Mr. Manfred will come on your show and debate Governor Kemp, I'll send them both a fruit basket. They need to come on. Let's talk about the issues, not just call each other names. Well, I love that. And being a Georgia peach, make sure you throw some peaches in there. Um, sir, I'll do good it. to have you. Thank you. We're going to do it. Thank you, Harris. Appreciate your time.